Today we're taking a look at and doing a tasting review of Altos Reposado right here on the Tequila Hombre coming up next. And welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre. You've probably seen this bottle in your local grocery store or maybe liquor store. Uh, it is widely available. It is Almeca Altos's Reposado. They also have a Blanco and an Añejo available on the market. And you can find them on shelves all over the place. Uh, and we'll get into the reason why here in just a second. But first, let's get into who makes this tequila. It is made at NOM 1111 which the name of the distillery is Pernod Ricard, Mexico. So you're probably wondering, Pernod Ricard, where do I know that from? Well, they are a large liquor spirits manufacturer, uh, and they also own brands such as Jameson Whiskey, uh, Absolute Vodka, uh, among others. So they have the ability to get their, their um, spirits in a lot of different stores all around the US as, as well as all around the world. So they also own the distillery uh, that makes Omeka Altos and they own the brand as well. So let's get into how this tequila is made. It is made in with Highlands Agave since the distillery is located in Arandas, Jalisco, which is the Highlands. Uh, once the agave are harvested and processed, they're then cooked in stone clay brick ovens uh, which are called hornos using steam. And once the agave are finished being cooked, they then use both the tahona and roller mill for extraction on these. Once they extract the sugars, it then goes to fermentation in stainless steel tanks. After fermentation, it is then twice distilled using copper pot stills, and then it is cold filtered before it goes into American white oak whiskey barrels to be aged for anywhere between six to eight months. All right, so now you know how this tequila is made. Let's dive down and take a look at the bottle. All right, diving down, take a look at the bottle. It's got a kind of a wooden grain cap on the top of it, and it says Copper Pot Still Tequila. I don't know why they picked Copper Pot Still to highlight on the ne on the band, but they did. And then the neck band says Almeca Altos on it. And as you move down, you see that it's got a bumpy bottle, kind of a square-shaped bottle, that says Omeka Altos, 100% agave, uh, and that's raised on the bottle, on the glass. And then down this very simple label, basically says 100% agave, Reposado Tequila, name of the master distiller on it. And then on the back of the square bumpy bottle, government warning, NOM 1111, Made in Mexico and all that other basic stuff. And that is pretty much it. It's a very basic bottle. Nothing really fantastic to look at. But, you know, if you do have a, a bottle cutter, uh, it could make a great candle when you're done using it. All right, so there we go. We dive down, take a look at the bottle, and then let's go back up and do our tasting and review. All right, and we're back, and it's time for the tasting. And if, as usual, I'll be using the Harito Stazel nosing glass. So let's uh, pour ourselves a glass and see what this one is all about. I've had the Blanco before. It's enjoyable Blanco. Uh, so I'm interested to see how the Reposado tastes. You can find this in the store around here for anywhere between $18 to $22. So it's uh, very reasonably priced. So let's see what we got here. Looking at the, uh, the tequila in the glass, it does uh, coat the glass nicely. And there's legs uh, coming down and some, some pearls on there as well. So it, it's got some nice, looks like it's got some nice viscosity to it. The color is uh, kind of a light amber brown which is a very nice color for a reposado it's kind of like what you're looking for so let's see what we get on the nose mmm lots of cooked agave mm. it's a little pepperiness to it 
Definitely get some vanilla in it as well. And a little bit of oakiness from the barrel. The oaky, oakiness does come through a little bit on the nose. Mm, smells good. All right, so let's see how it tastes. It does have a, a light creaminess to it, which is nice. A nice uh, mouth feel. Definitely get lots of cooked agave. It's it's actually really nice. Uh, it's got a little pepperiness to it as well. Um, the heat's mild. It's not very hot at all. You get some vanilla coming through, a hint of caramel as well. It has a little smokiness to it too, which is kind of interesting. And then on the finish, the finish kind of uh, has the warmth to it, a little bit of the heat to it that uh, takes you through on the finish with just a little hint of oakiness and a little hint of vanilla on there. It's uh, actually very nice. Uh, for for twenty, actually I bought this for nineteen ninety nine. For nineteen ninety nine, this is a great tequila to pick up. Hmm. I could sit and sip this easily, enjoy this. This would make fantastic palomas and margaritas as well, cocktails. Um, I find this to be a lot less hot and aggressive as the Blanco is. Uh, it's actually really nicely done. I, uh, I, I definitely recommend this, um, especially if you don't have a very good selection in the store by you and this is available. This would be a great tequila. For, you can't beat it for the price, but a great tequila to buy to sip on or to use in cocktails uh, for a really nice tasting Pleasant experience tequila. All right, if you've tried Alta Semeca Reposado, I would love to hear your comments, and hear what you think about it. Please post your comments below. Uh, don't forget to give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe because we've got some other great videos coming up. I've got some fantastic reviews planned, as well as some other very informative uh, videos that I know you're going to love. So as I usually say at the end of my videos, life is too short to drink. Bad tequila. Salute.